because of that suddenly there's no brightness anywhere and it causes confusion you see so he said confusion and falseness bring about emptiness relying on emptiness time and space take form this is quantum big bang when the real energy exploded then there's a chaos all over chaotic uh, rearrangement or readjustment or adjusting and all that and falseness because there's no brilliance shining anymore around and then bring about emptiness it could be like a darkness also in the confusion and falseness if you're not a buddha anymore if you're not in the buddha's state of mind if all beings has become confused huh? therefore there's emptiness that arise from that confusion and a wrong concept and relying on emptiness time and space take form see originally there's no time no space so just like when you meditate or when you're happy time passes so quick there's not actually this time at all time is just relative terms but we so used to it so we work at eight hours <laughs> We sleep seven, eight hours, and we eat about one hour, everything we count like, oh, an hour, time, and this. And then because of the emptiness, time and space are born. Thought settles, the thought of being settle. Making countries and land, what knows and feels becomes living beings. After the movement of the energy, whatever can discriminate, become thoughts. And after the thoughts are born, it's settled, yeah, it's settled here and there. And manifest in two countries and lands. So all things born from thoughts. It's not an ordinary thought, it's probably thoughts from one of the creative source, okay? From a, one of the creative energy. It's saying thoughts. But it could be like just movement of energy, understand the collision of energy, the resettlement of position in the universe after the, the shining forth of the original brightness or brilliance, okay? I mean, after the explosion. Mm, the scientists call it Big Bang then, huh? All right. And after that, whatever energy that still can move, and can interact with each other, become like a thought. It's just like energy, it can move things. So we can call that, it's a thought or thinking. Because thought here is not like we're thinking in our mind now, but it's something higher, yeah? From the energy interaction with each other. Are born uh, mountains and countries and lands. What knows and feels become living beings. Whatever has not become countries or lands or mountain which has feeling, which has some recognition of some kind, become living beings. Like, okay, the big explosion, and then here one piece become a country, another energy settle into mountains, other energy settle into lands, flat lands, and some other energy settle into some some kind of yes first yes just whoever whatever settle that energy settle into some form of movement which knows and which feels because sentient beings you see that's why sentient beings we are one of those sentient beings that is born from this energy brilliance energy that settle in different places yeah when it's settled into this form we become ascension beings the one that can know and feel become sentient being the one that cannot recognize meaning like the mountain okay it might know something yeah but different not the knowing of the physical existence the mountain may know some other thing that we don't know Okay, but they don't know the taste of the bread that you eat. And they don't feel the emotion of romantic love that you do. Okay, uh, 
whoever can know many things from the physical existence and can feel from the interaction with others around other living moving beings these are living beings if you know can know you can feel then you are counted as sentient or living being all right the emptiness created within great enlightenment is like a single bubble in all the sea lands like fine dust motes subject to outflows all come forth out of empty space within this emptiness after all the confusion and chaos after the explosion then confusion and then arise the emptiness the emptiness is still within the great original enlightenment you know the original uh, brilliance okay even though it is have a lot of being in it and different shape and form but we are still within the enlightenment original the brightness with the light anyway but the emptiness is also created out of enlightenment also and then the emptiness creates more things <laughs> the enlightenment brightness the original body nature creates emptiness yeah after the chaos and then the emptiness create other things the emptiness is just like a bubble a single bubble in all the sea but then the lands that created are like fine dust motes subject to our flows and all come forth out of empty space it just come from nowhere lands and sea originally is like dust yeah even land are not really settled yet you know they are still a very maybe soft and hollow and spongy type like dust not set actually the scientists <laughs> describe them as gas you know those are not yet solidify themselves into a satellite into uh, earth planet is just like gas they say that it truly is like that and here he describes it like fine dust motes like dust probably not yet completely solid if he define the beginning of the world he tell us how the world is formed and they all come out of empty space after this explosion of the divine light just as the bubble burst space is no longer there how much the less the three states of being he says suppose this uh, emptiness within all the sea the single bubble in the sea if it burst then there's no space you see we are created within this emptiness yeah but the emptiness is described here just as a bubble in the sea when the bubble burst for then there's no no space anymore if we have a balloon yeah then inside we have space empty space but if the balloon gone disappear there's no space but we are illusionary living in this kind of bubble and we have space we have time <laughs> but if the bubble burst then we cannot find any space anymore how would we even count time that's what he meant okay even less the three states of being meaning the physical the astral and the causal mm, the thinking ability the creative ability of the astral level and the physical level as a human all right so when the bubble burst when the emptiness no longer there then we don't have anything our beings gone also <laughs> <laughs>